Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do the government schemes for MSMEs in India. Very important for Bank of Baroda senior manager MSME exam, for Central Bank of India credit officer, for Bank of Maharashtra credit officer. So very important for credit officer and the journalist officer level exam scale 2 and scale 3. Let's start the session. My name is Ramandeep Singh and I've been teaching on bank exam study from last 12 years. And this is my WhatsApp number where you can ask your doubts and I'm going to answer your doubts. Okay. Let's start the session. Uh, let me just hide my face so that you can concentrate on the content. The Prime Minister Employment Generation Program, PMEGP. Basically, this is the subsidy that when you have a new plant for manufacturing of the services, so you get the subsidy, right? So credit linked subsidy scheme, you apply for the loan and you get a portion of that as a subsidy. Credit linked subsidy program, okay, to generate continuous and sustainable employment opportunities in urban and the rural areas. For example, I start a new business as an entrepreneur. I am going to factory a factory or a lipstick factory start a factory. ठीक है कोई कॉस्मेटिक प्रोडक्ट बनाने की फैक्ट्री स्टार्ट करता हूं उसके लिए आई टेक लोन फ्रॉम द गवर्नमेंट राइट टेक लोन फ्रॉम अ बैंक अंडर दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रोग्राम सो आई एम गोइंग टू गेट सम सब्सिडी एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया योर एज शुड बी बिटवीन 18 टू 59 इयर्स मिनिमम एज स्टैंडर्ड क्लियर करनी चाहिए द इनकम लिमिट इज देयर नॉट एक्सीडिंग 1 लाख रुपी फ्रॉम एनी सोर्स फ्रॉम अदर सोर्सेस Category specific uh, lim uh, eligibility criteria are there. So it is administered by the Ministry of Micro, Small and the Medium Enterprises. Theke. The objectives to generate self-employment, continuous sustainable employment, right? So project cost up to 25 lakh rupees for manufacturing sectors and 10 lakh rupees for the service sector, okay? Manufacturing के लिए 25 lakh rupees for uh, other than uh, the manufacturing the project cost should be less than 10 lakh rupees. Subsidy 15 to 35 percent of the project cost for different categories of the beneficiaries. Women को लग मिलती है SCST category uh, के जो uh, entrepreneurs हैं borrowers हैं they'll get उनको लग मिलती है and for the general category it's different okay. So it's 15 to 35 percent of the project cost that subsidy is provided. Who are eligible unemployed youth, women or individuals above 18 years? They are eligible. Okay, acha question nahi hai, lekin scheme interesting hai. Hai. This point is very important. 25 lakh rupee takka project for manufacturing and 10 lakh rupee for the service sector. That point is very very important. Okay. Subsidy 15 to 35 percent ka subsidy milta hai. Credit Guarantee Trust Fund for Micro and Small Enterprises. See students, the banks, they were not in the past, banks were not interested in giving business loans to the small companies, small enterprises, micro enterprises. The banks were not interested because there, there was a possibility of default. They were more interested in giving the consumer loans, credit card ke loan dene hai unhe, unhe bike loan dena, bike ka loan mat jukaiye, bike utha ke le jayenge, ghar, ghar housing loan le lijiye, ghar se nikal denge. What about the business? Somebody takes a loan, agar wo default karta hai, to kya hoga? They, the bank won't be able to recover the money. And that's why the bank, uh, the banks were not ready to give loans to the micro and small enterprises. That is why the government came up with the Credit Guarantee Trust Fund for micro and small enterprises, right? <clears throat> so the features, the government is going to provide guarantee and the government is going to charge some money from the micro and small enterprises. Okay, guarantee of government provide karegi and uske liye kuch charge karegi. The scheme provide collateral free credit facilities to the MSEs. Thereby reducing their reliance on the personal guarantees or the physical collaterals. Koi property nahi hai, agar aapke paas, agar aapki guarantee dene ke liye kuch nahi hai. You can take collateral free loans, right, from the banks. And the government is going to provide the guarantee coverage. Micro uh, and small enterprises engaging in the manufacturing services and other eligible activities, they can apply, okay. And, the, uh, and there will be a one-time guarantee fee and an annual fee charge from the borrower for the loans, okay. 
बेनिफिट्स लो कॉस्ट ऑफ बॉरोइंग ऑब्वियसली somebody is uh, providing guarantee so lower cost of borrowing is there improved financial inclusion enhanced competitiveness and reduced dependence upon collateral so this is the chart for micro enterprises up to 5 lakh rupees 85% ka guarantee government is going to provide uh, for 5 lakh to 50 lakh 75% above 50 lakhs but less than 5 crore 75% jo hai guarantee coverage for mses in the northeast including sikkim and uh, jammu and kashmir and ladakh 80% from 5 lakh to 50 lakh for women entrepreneurs sc st entrepreneurs mses uh, z certified mses persons with disabilities mses promoted by agni veers 85% ka coverage rahega regardless of the value of loan all other category of borrower 75% coverage क्रेडिट गारंटी कवरेज वुड बी प्रोवाइडेड ओके मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ सी जी टी एम एस सी टू प्रोवाइड टू प्रोवाइड को लिटरल फ्री क्रेडिट फैसिलिटीज टू एम एस सी तो गारंटी प्रोवाइड करी जाती है उद्यम रजिस्ट्रेशन आई होप यू आर ऑलरेडी अवेयर ऑफ उद्यम रजिस्ट्रेशन इट्स अ ऑफिशियल प्रोसेस ऑफ रजिस्ट्रिंग द माइक्रो स्मॉल एंड मीडियम इंटरप्राइजेज इन इंडिया इट्स फ्री इट्स पेपरलेस just by using your aadhar and mobile number you can register your organization you can register your small business micro organization and you will get a urn and this is acceptable by a lot of government institution as identity proof i can say what is the primary benefit uh, access to government schemes and benefits bahut jagah nahi bhi chalta ye uh ms uh, msme samadhan so one of the common problems with the msmes is defaults so you give your products to somebody you provided your services to somebody to some company and they are not paying you wo aapko paisa nahi de rahe hain aapka default ho raha hai to aap kya karoge in that case to solve such issues msme samadhan scheme is there so if you provided some services you raised the invoice aapne proper gst charge kiya sara kuch kiya right and you raised the invoice the check check bhi nahi aaya right चेक बाउंस का तो आप अंडर नेगोशियबल इंस्ट्रूमेंट एक्ट सेक्शन 138 आप चेक लगाइए बाउंस कराइए और जेल जाएगा अगला बंदा बट इन केस दैट पर्सन इज नॉट इवन गिविंग यू चेक्स द एप्लीकेशन यू कैन फाइल द कंप्लेंट ओके अंडर द एमएसएमई समाधान वंस एप्लीकेशन इज फिल्ड इट इज ऑटोमेटिकली फॉरवर्डेड टू द कंसर्न एम ठीक है कंसर्न एम एस सी फेसिलिटेशन काउंसिल द माइक्रो एंड स्मॉल इंटरप्राइज फेसिलिटेशन Council and they need to solve the case within 90 days of the registration of the complaint. नब्बे दिन के अंदर अंदर जब आपने ये file किया है, they need to solve it. So once the you know the the MSC FC once the facilitation council they get the complaint, they will uh, send the directions to the buyer to pay the due amount along with the interest and 30 days का notice जाएगा and within the 30 days they need to solve it. They need to pay the money. The MSME Samadhan, it's a valuable tool, right? And it protects the interest of the the both buyers and sellers. I mean, obviously, if default will happen in the future, the genuine uh, buyers will not get their work done, right? So that is MSME Samadhan. It's very useful, convenient. Uh, it's it saves time. It improves the cash flow of the MSMEs, right? The purpose will come to help micro and the small enterprises to resolve their delayed payment disputes. वन ऑफ द कॉमन डिस्प्यूट्स तो ये सॉल्व हो जाएगा इश्यू इससे ठीक है मैक्सिमम टाइम फ्रेम फॉर एम एस ई एफ सी टू रिजॉल्व अ डिलेड पेमेंट केस नाइन्टी डेज के अंदर अंदर उन्हें सॉल्व करना है और थर्टी डेज का नोटिस जाता है प्रधानमंत्री सुरक्षा बीमा योजना ऑल दो इट्स एन इंश्योरेंस स्कीम बट आई आई थॉट वाई नॉट टू कवर दिस स्कीम इज ओपन टू ऑल द सिटीजन्स हुज एज इज बिटवीन एटीन टू सेवेंटी ईयर्स एंड दे हैव अ बैंक अकाउंट दो लाख रुपए तक का कवरेज मिलता है इट्स अ गवर्नमेंट स्पॉन्सर्ड एक्सीडेंटल इंश्योरेंस स्कीम दो लाख रुपए का रुपए तक का कवर मिलता है एंड द इंश्योरेंस प्रीमियम इज मेयरली ट्वेंटी रुपीज पर ईयर टू लाख रुपी फॉर एक्सीडेंटल डेथ एंड वन लाख रुपी फॉर परमानेंट डिसबिलिटी सो प्लीज रिमेंबर ट्वेंटी रुपीज इज द प्रीमियम इट यूज टू बी थर्टीन रुपीज बट नाउ इट हैज बिन इंक्रीज टू ट्वेंटी रुपीज ओके The minimum age to for the enrollment is 18 years and the maximum age is 70 years. The Udyam Assist platform. So, 
uh, a lot of uh, organizations micro enterprises were not able to register uh, the U not able to get the urn okay that is why this new platform has been launched the udyam assist uh, platform it's an online platform launched by ministry of msc msme it facilitates the registration of informal micro enterprises and provide them with a unique udyam registration number urn and a udyam assist certificate so that they can get the benefits of various government schemes theek hai informal micro enterprises they can apply via this theek hai so what's uh, only in uh, informal micro enterprises they can register under udyam assist platform what's a e shram platform it's a national database that that stores the details of unorganized workers in india it's very important to have the database uh if you have the data only then you can provide you can you know uh, do various schemes of schemes launch kar sakte ho for uh, for skilling skill provide karne ke liye for insurance for benefits tabhi karoge if you don't have the data you can't really do anything and this is a database how would you know that uh, there is a gap between demand and supply i mean for example in jalandhar uh, cricket ball banane ke ya chess ka ban chess ki jo board hai wo banane ke let's say 500 uh, you know skilled log hain lekin demand let's say 2000 ki hai to i mean you get a data of that okay so it was de developed by ministry of labor and employment and it aims to provide access to social security schemes and connect them with the employment opportunities so i mean a lot of a lot can be done from this database agar aapke paas database hai aap employment provide kar sakte ho aap unhe social security schemes provide kar sakte ho aap unhe स्किल स्किलिंग कोर्स प्रोवाइड कर सकते हो अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स कैन बी डन राइट आप स्किलिंग कर सकते हो उनकी जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स कैन बी डन सो ई श्रम पोर्टल टिल नाउ नॉट वाइडली यूज आई कैन से इट्स नॉट वाइडली यूज एज ऑफ द मोमेंट बट स्टिल इट्स देर वट्स अ गोल टू कनेक्ट अनऑथराइज वर्कर्स विद अ सोशल सिक्योरिटी एंड एम्प्लॉयमेंट अपॉर्चुनिटीज National Career Services and Atam Nirbhar Bharat Skilled Employee Employer Mapping Portals. So both are the government of India initiatives aiming at bridging the gaps between skilled workforce and the job opportunities. So job seekers and the employers in India they are going to register. It's a kind of Nokri dot com kind of a portal launched by the government of India. So yeah, still till now not uh, not many people are using it. to be very frank not very popular as of the moment question uh, which portal offers a career counseling it's i mean we can do that right the national career services the stand up india scheme now that's that's interesting widely used scheme see not all schemes are successful out of if the government is launching 10 schemes three or four are successful right even the products that the government of india launch uh, is launching i mean a lot of products are useful uh the products launched by the services uh, launched by the uh, the bjp government i mean they are very very successful upi is successful i mean aadhar aadhar is successful aadhar scheme i mean uh, it's successful upi is successful the the mudra scheme is successful jandhan yojana is successful and even the the credit guarantee scheme is successful a lot of successful schemes are there Uh, a lot of failed schemes are there but uh, we are not here to discuss that stand up india scheme stand up india initiative launched in 2016 to promote the entrepreneurship among women and the members of sc st uh, the the people who uh, belongs to sc and st uh, caste okay so it aims to facilitate the bank loans to the this categories of borrowers of entrepreneurs and they'll get a loan between 10 lakhs to 1 crore and at least one scst borrower and one woman borrower per bank branch for setting up a greenfield enterprise what is a greenfield enterprise a new business something new okay aapko existing business ke liye nahi koi new uh, enterprise new business venture is known as a greenfield enterprise loan amount 10 lakhs to 1 crore SC ST uh, borrowers and the women borrowers for the greenfield uh, enterprises eligible sectors manufacturing services agri allied activities and trading 
गारंटी कवर एट्टी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ द लोन अमाउंट बाय द क्रेडिट गारंटी फंड ट्रस्ट फॉर माइक्रो एंड द स्मॉल एंटरप्राइजेज सी जी टी एम एस सी जो हमने स्टार्टिंग में किया सो लोन रीपेमेंट पीरियड ऑफ अप टू सेवन ईयर्स विद मोरिटोरियम पीरियड ऑफ अप टू ट्वेल्व मंथ्स द स्कीम ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड सपोर्ट सर्विसेज सच एज स्किल डेवलपमेंट ट्रेनिंग एंड मैंटरिंग मैंटरिंग टू द बेनिफिशरीज ओके सो एज ऑफ मार्च Over एट lakh loans have been sanctioned under the Stand Up India scheme with a total disbursement of eighty five thousand crore rupees. So it's a successful scheme. So scheme uh, primarily targets the women and the scheduled castes and the scheduled tribes. Okay, and which types of uh, uh, enterprises are eligible? Greenfield enterprises are eligible, and the minimum loan amount is ten lakhs, maximum one crore. And then the intra subsidy eligibility certificates. <coughs> so it's a scheme in india specifically aiming at khadi uh, and the village industry kvi and under this scheme uh, the loans can be you know taken at the rate of uh, the money can be borrowed at the rate of 4% per annum so 4% pe loan they can take from the banks they are going to get the certificates and they can borrow the uh, money at 4% and rest of the interest money is going to be subsidized by the government of india <coughs> so kvi institution can approach the banks with their is ecs and obtain loans with a specific amount uh, jitna bhi limit diya hua hai and rest of the money is going to be paid by the government of india jo 4% se upar ka interest hai wo government of india pay karegi प्रधानमंत्री कौशल विकास योजना सो इट्स अ फ्लैगशिप स्कीम ऑफ मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ स्किल डेवलपमेंट एंड ऑन्टरप्रनोरशिप इंप्लीमेंटेड बाय नेशनल स्किल डेवलपमेंट कॉपोरेशन पहले तो ये वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ठीक है मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ स्किल डेवलपमेंट एंड ऑन्टरप्रनोरशिप इंप्लीमेंटेड बाय नेशनल स्किल डेवलपमेंट कॉपोरेशन लॉन्च इन ट्वेंटी सो टारगेट ग्रुप क्या है एज ग्रुप बिटवीन 18 टू 35 बेसिकली अप स्किलिंग के लिए या आई मीन यू आर फ्रेशली आउट ऑफ द कॉलेज और फ्रेशली आउट ऑफ द स्कूल यू आर 18 19 20 30 इयर्स एंड यू वांट टू लर्न अ न्यू स्किल राइट देन यू कैन गो टू दीज सेंटर्स कौशल विकास सेंटर्स बने थे यू विल बी प्रोवाइडेड ट्रेनिंग शॉर्ट टर्म मीडियम टर्म एंड द लॉन्ग टर्म कोर्सेज वुड बी प्रोवाइडेड टारगेट मार्केट एटीन टू थर्टी फाइव with focus on women sest and the person with disability but any anybody can go there the scheme provides financial incentives to both the trainees and the training uh, the training providers uh, right and the trainees are eligible for the stipend as well during the training and a placement bonus after completing the training okay so improves the employability promotes entrepreneurship and reduces the poverty a lot of courses were there the data entry course was there Uh, stitching tailoring uh, a lot of i mean mechanics auto engineers auto mechanic i mean lot of courses were there at the, at these centers ye alag alag centers bane the uh, kind of failed i would say scheme of the government of india a majority of the centers are closed now to yahan pe thoda sa lag kar gayi apni government design clinic scheme see msmes uh, they were not doing good at the design right when uh, we are talking about big companies reliance industries hdfc bank they have money right they can uh, you know spend money on the design they can spend lakhs lakhs of crores of rupee on the design r and d but msmes they don't have money um, for that that's why the government of india launched the scheme they'll provide financial assistance msmes can receive uh, reimbursement of up to 60% of the design fee 60% of the design fee with a cap of 15 lakh rupees 15 lakh rupees tak agar kharchenge to 60% of the design fee that would be subsidized by the government of india for all the design work undertaken by qualified professionals expert guidance scheme connects msmes with expert designers and institutions like nids and other design colleges and enhance their competitiveness they'll make better products better looking products well uh, better efficient product i would say so individual msmes group of msmes student design projects right and types of design projects supported new product development branding identity design packaging design 
यूजर एक्सपीरियंस डिजाइन वेबसाइट वेबसाइट एंड एप डिजाइन सस्टेनेबल डिजाइन इनिशिएटिव फॉर दैट आई मीन दे कैन दे कैन यूज द सर्विस ओके दे कैन गेट द सब्सिडी सो स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू लाइक द डे सेशन आज का सेशन आई होप आपको अच्छा लगा बैंक ऑफ बड़ोड़ा सीनियर मैनेजर एम एस एम ई रिलेशनशिप कॉर्स बाई टीम बैंक एग्जाम्स टूडे वी हैव ऑलरेडी लॉन्च द कॉर्स एंड वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग वीडियो क्लासेज नोट्स क्विजेज एंड द टेस्ट सीरीज इन दिस कॉर्स द लिंक टू ज्वाइन द कॉर्स इज अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन दिस इज द व्हाट्सएप नंबर वे यू कैन आस्क योर डाउट्स एंड वी आर गोइंग टू आंसर योर डाउट्स ओके एंड सेंट्रल बैंक ऑफ इंडिया क्रेडिट ऑफिसर एंड बैंक ऑफ महाराष्ट्र क्रेडिट ऑफिसर कॉर्सेज आर ऑल्सो देर ऑन बैंक एग्जाम स्टडी डॉट कॉम and list of our successful students all these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked the respective exams and i'm really really happy for all our successful students so that's all for today students i hope you like the today session if there is any other doubt in your mind please ask your doubts and i'm going to answer your doubts so thank you and have a very nice day bye bye